California-based Serena and Lily recently dropped its first New England design shop in Chestnut Hill Square. We visited the home decor brand known for its easy breezy West Coast vibe back in November of 2019. Business was booming, and according to design shop leader Luann Pereira, it's still going strong despite COVID-19. Are you surprised that business is as strong as it has been? We're very delighted that people are continuing to still try to live their life as much as they can. And a lot of that now has to do with making their home comfortable. We're able to fill a small spot for them in that regard. While renovating an entire room or splurging on new high-end furniture may not be in the cards for many people, small changes can make all the difference, says Pereira. Pillows, throws, blankets, pajamas, beautiful new sheets and duvets and pillowcases all can make a big impact in your home. Throw a couple of things on a sofa and it looks brand new. Serena and Lily carries everything from rugs, lighting and bedding to dining, living room and kitchen furniture, including these signature Riviera chairs. But it's the outdoor furniture really getting a lot of action right now. People are now realizing that Life is not going to go back to normal as quickly, probably, as we had hoped. How do we best utilize the space that we have? So they're looking at outdoor spaces. Intrigued? Looking to spruce things up? Serena and Lily designers will work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Virtually, of course. We certainly miss seeing our customers face-to-face -face and miss the energy of the store. But in terms of how we do business, it's really not that different than what we've always done. Create a living space oasis that works for you with a coastal touch. When Chronicle first met Nathan Rothstein and Ross Lohr back in 2018, I was dropping off some prized possessions. I brought a pile awesome. of my favorite t-shirts. Great. Um, a lot of them have some sentimental value. They had just opened their first brick and mortar store for their online business, Project Repat. We really wanted to find out whether there are a lot of customers out there who maybe are afraid to just buy online and ship something through the mail to one of our production facilities. The answer? We closed our store, but we've continued to grow online. And the business of turning old t-shirts into comfy quilts is booming. People are more nostalgic than ever, I think. There's a before March 1st, 2020, and then after, and people are just trying to think through and think about the memories that they've had and our product really brings those memories out. But that's not all. In March of 2020, Project Repat expanded the business to include face masks, creating 140,000 since April. We saw an opportunity and a need for masks, and so we've started to utilize our networks of cut and sew to get masks up and running. And then, kind of surprisingly, people are sending more t-shirts for their t-shirt quilts than ever before. So this is our busiest t-shirt quilt season ever. Project Repat masks, as well as their quilts, are made in the USA. We feel good because we know that we're employing people in the United States to make these and providing them a fair and living wage. And we do feel really good about staying in business and giving people jobs, but making sure that they're doing so in a really safe environment. We're at a point now where we're trying to expand our operations because we have such huge demand for both masks and t-shirt quilts. You guys have been able to reinvent your business and help people at the same time. It's gotta be a good feeling. We're just trying to fulfill a need. I think we're also weighing that uh, so many people are struggling right now. And like everyone else, we're just trying to figure out how to stay in business for as long as possible and know that, you know, we may be seeing some success right now and it's working out, but you just, you don't know what's gonna come down the road. And so we're still staying humble and, and nimble. Project Repat is also selling cotton face masks and has even flirted with the idea of turning old t-shirts into masks. For now, the t-shirt quilts are keeping them very busy. And back to Serena and Lily, the company offers another tip. If new furniture just isn't in the budget right now, try moving furniture around to get more light during the day. The store in Chestnut Hill has reopened, but for now, it is by appointment only. Next, when forced to shut down, this gym owner had one question. 